You love pubs. <laughs> I do You're love pubs. You're passionate about pubs. I'm passionate about pubs, and my passion has grown even stronger for pubs following a conversation with um, a great friend of mine who's an actor, Neil Stuke, mm -hmm. who is even more passionate about pubs than anybody mm -hmm. else I know, and who drew to my attention that 29 British pubs are closing every single week. So mm -hmm. every week, 29 are, are boarded up. Mm -hmm. And it's not because of cheap supermarket alcohol and changing drink drive laws and changing demographics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a, a perfect storm that would take me months to really explain properly, but a combination of very weak planning laws across Britain, um, developers seeing historic pubs and properties as low hanging fruit and exploiting loopholes in our planning and some of the big pub companies not all of them but some of them charging very high rents to landlords and tying them to their beer which means they sell their beer at two or three times market value so they struggle to make any profit on their cider or their draft or their ale and really it's creating this sort of perfect storm now where we're seeing all these closures and pubs are sort of part of our fabric of our society and and communities where they lose their pubs and mini supermarkets or luxury flats are built instead are seeing the local post office close and then the butcher closes if there's a new mini supermarket and the local shop closes we've got two examples at the moment of pubs in kent one was built in 1250 so it's been a pub for 750 years the other's 15th century and eventually through large pub companies running it and landlords struggling to make a living the pubs have closed developers have snapped them up for an absolute song communities risen up and had them declared what they call an asset of community value so prove to the council that this needs to remain a pub and it's it you know it brings a lot to the community mm -hmm. but just weeks later eight weeks in one instance the develops man developers have managed to overturn that acv status yes. and now it looks like those two properties may well be turned into luxury flats and a private house mm -hmm. so it is something i as you can see, feel very strongly about, and um, and I've got my teeth well and truly stuck into. I it. think you've got the the Prince of Wales on your side too, because he's very keen on this. You know, the community hub in the middle of the village, the pub. If we're not careful, we'll lose it. That's the problem. That is a point well made. Good for you, and I think some of those. Uh... <laughs> Big companies, you know. I think I'm right in saying that. One in every three pints pulled in the world is, is uh, the property of one big company. S.A.B. Miller, I think it's called. It's fantastic. One pint in three. That's extraordinary. Amazing. Well, the laws, I think, will change later this year. Well, more power to your elbow, as they say. <laughs> well it done. means I've had to spend a lot of time in pubs doing research, of course. <laughs> it, well, it's no hardship.